is a huge problem with the jobs number reported by the Bureau of Labor and Statistics each month, and I want to go through the issue in this video. Until 2008, business startups outpaced business failures by about 100,000 companies per year. In the year 2000, the BLS introduced the birth death model to estimate jobs created in a healthy economy. This model makes adjustments to the monthly jobs number, usually raising the actual jobs created based on a healthy economy and the birth of new companies and the jobs created by those new companies. This algorithm probably works for the most part when there is proof that business formation outpaces business failures. This chart ranges from 1978 through 2011 and shows the firm entry rate and the firm exit rate. This is the rate of business formation, births, and the rate of business failures, deaths. As this chart shows, business formation began to decline in 2005 and pass below business failures during the 2008 financial crisis. As a result, business deaths now outpace business births for the first time since researchers started collecting the data in 1978. Although this chart ends in 2011, the U.S. still has more businesses failing each year than businesses being created. I believe there were some 70,000 more business failures in 2015 than businesses created. Based on this, there is absolutely no reason for the BLS to continue birth death model adjustments after the 2008 financial crisis, yet it continues to this day. We'll look at the April numbers in just a moment. David Stockman wrote this piece over a year and a half ago entitled, the BLS skunk in the woodpile, 67% of jobs since 2009 due to birth death modeling, but U.S. business formation rate is now negative. Again, the business formation rate began its decline in 2005, and the U.S. is no longer net positive in business formation. Let's take a look at the most current report, the April jobs number, which was reported as usual on the first Friday of the month, May the 6th. Economists surveyed by the Wall Street Journal predicted 205,000 jobs would be added. The actual number of jobs reported as created in April was 160,000, a clear miss by 45,000 jobs. This is where most people, including the economists, apparently stop looking and stop questioning. To know the real job creation for April, we must look at one more data point, the BLS birth death model adjustment. Each month I check the BLS birth death model adjustments, which are usually posted within 30 minutes of the release of the monthly jobs number. The two left-hand columns are broken down by various sectors, with the bottommost row being the totals. As you can see, April's non-farm birth death adjustment is 233,000 jobs. There were 160,000 jobs reported in total, so 160,000 minus 233,000 is minus 73,000 jobs. That's right. Showing a loss of 73,000 jobs was not an option for the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, so they apply the birth death model adjustment to make April's jobs number look positive. I've been watching this for a while and this is fairly common. Now you know why folks like Stockman estimate that seven out of 10 jobs reported since 2009 are fabricated, made up numbers and jobs that really don't exist. I'll leave a link to the BLS birth death model page in the description so you can check the fabrication of the jobs number every month for yourself. That's my rant for now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.